as a broccoli advocate. <laughs> and I blame my parents. I grew up in rural Illinois, surrounded by beautiful fruit trees and a large vegetable garden. My parents canned their own applesauce and their own tomatoes. What I didn't understand is why I had to go to friends' houses to have slumber parties in order to get things like sugar-sweetened cereals. I liked the food that I had at home, I just wanted that junk food more often. I thought that my parents were being super mean. What I didn't realize at the time is that my parents were setting me up for a lifetime of healthy choices. They were teaching me the habit of eating my fruits and vegetables. So fast forward to present. I now live in Sacramento, California, and I've worked the last 15 years in the nonprofit management sector. Oh yeah, and I'm still eating my fruits and vegetables. Sacramento is America's farm to fork capital. Right here, we're growing many of the fruits and vegetables that we eat around the world. So like me, kids in Sacramento are growing up surrounded by fruits and veggies. But there's a problem. We know that only 40%, actually a whole 40% of our kids have a childhood obesity problem. We also know that only 6% of kids are eating their daily recommended amounts of fruits and veggies. Now we know that this is not a problem of childhood access and food access and childhood hunger because we know that kids on free lunch programs in the schools are still not eating their vegetables and they have access to salad bars. The problem is that we haven't taught our kids the habit of eating their fruits and vegetables. So four years ago, I started a nonprofit called Food Literacy Center. Our mission is to inspire kids to eat their vegetables. And we work in after-school programs with low-income kids. We teach them cooking and nutrition. We have a high success rate of getting kids to eat vegetables. So I'm going to share with you today the tips that we use with our kids, what we call broccoli habits, and hopefully you too can incorporate them in your life and develop the habit of eating fruits and veggies. So the first tip is super simple. Every single week, go to the grocery store and pick out one new fruit or vegetable. Make it your goal that week to learn to taste, to eat, and to cook that veggie or that fruit. My second tip is make sure with every single meal you're eating a fruit or a vegetable. So say you eat eggs for breakfast, go ahead and dice up some vegetables and toss them on top. If you eat a peanut butter sandwich for lunch, swap out that jelly for fresh fruit slices. Over time, if you're eating veggies with every single meal and you're also eating a new fruit or vegetable every single week, it'll be easy for you to develop a broccoli habit. Also, eat what's in season. If you're trying to taste for the first time a tomato in the middle of winter and it's bouncing like a rubber ball, the chances are you're not going to like tomatoes. However, if you're eating a beautiful tomato in the middle of summer when it's at its peak of ripeness, the chances are also very high that you're going to love tomatoes. So eat what's in season. My final tip is to cook. Cooking is the only way that we can control the amount of fruit, vegetables, sugar, saturated fat in our food. So cook from scratch. And if you do all of these tips, you too can build up a broccoli habit and learn to eat like a kindergartner. <laughs>